Hey, it's Clay, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to do a little test. I took a little gamble on this launch monitor off Amazon, it says Atlas uh, GST-5W, made in Japan. It's got a bunch of Japanese characters on it, but uh, it supposedly will give you swing speed meters per second, ball speed meters per second, and carry distance or a yardage of some kind, and then a smash factor. So all I want to do today is hit some shots, report to you what the numbers are, what I kind of maybe would expect they would be, and then uh, I also also have my uh, range finder, so we'll do some shots into the green, and then kind of report on how accurate it is. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, if you want to hit a shot, basically all you got to do is set it on the ground. Um, now you can, there's some up and down arrows that you have to dial in exactly what club you're using. So I'm going to set this to one wood. Now it does not have the capability of dialing in your exact loft. Uh, you know, I'm just setting this to driver, but I didn't get to tell it exactly. You know, this is a, a nine degree driver or whatever. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and give it a shot with this. All right, first swing of the day, not really super loose. This is a tailor-made sim. If I can get somewhere between 240 and 260, I'll be pretty happy with that. All right, I think that one misread. It said 31 meters per second, gave me zero. Ball speed, 142 yards. Try repositioning it a little bit. Let's hit another one. All right, that one read it. It says 41 meters per second, club head speed 64 meters per second, ball speed 233 yards, 1.57. 233 carry for first shot of the day. You know, rolling out to about 240, 250 is probably about right. So, so far so good. Okay, so here are my two drives. The first one I didn't really pick up, and then the second one was right here next to it. It's at 233. Now the hole that I'm playing is about 510 from the tips, par five. This um, 250 is right there, probably 10 yards away from it. So if I'm 260, Maybe 265 to the green. 510 minus that, I believe, is about 250, 245. So, if it's at 233, um, you know, for a carry number, that's actually probably about right. 235 carry rolled out to about 250. Now we're gonna try a little forward. Now again, uh, the device does not have the ability to pick. You know, it just says wood three, wood five. I'm gonna go to wood five. Because I have this set to about 16 and a half degrees of loft. And let's see what we can get up, end up with. I hit that one pretty good. If I had to guess, I'd say maybe 220. It did not seem to pick that one up. Let's try a second swing. Now I've got it placed on the ground here, maybe five or six feet behind me. Let's try it a little closer. It's kind of straight in line with where I'm aiming. Pointing at the ball. All right, that one says 200 yards, 36.7 meters per second, club speed 59.6 meters per second, ball speed. And I'll try to do the calculations, we'll see how close that was. All right, next shot I'm gonna hit, this is the 150 yard marker. I'm gonna set us to a seven iron. So if I can get this one about to the middle of the green, I'd be, that'd be pretty solid. That one was a misread. So I definitely am getting a little bit of problems with some of these readings, but onward we go. All right, just want to update on that last shot. I hit a four wood from about 
60. Ball ended up at about 80, about 75 yards to the pin. It's a little bit into the wind and a little bit uphill. The launch monitor said I hit it 200 yards. And honestly, I didn't really hit it very well. So if I'm 250 out, it says I hit it 200 yards, I'd get it up to 50 yards. Or 260 would be 60. And a little into the wind, the lapel is probably gonna cut 20 yards off of it, so I actually think that 200 yard reading for that forward was probably about accurate. So, so far, had a couple misreads, but uh, actually so far overall, things have not been super bad. Been actually pretty good. Um, I'm gonna experiment a little bit more with where I position the unit, maybe slightly closer. I've been putting it down maybe five feet behind the ball. We're gonna try more like three feet or two feet. Uh, I also did do a little bit of testing last night on my little mat in my backyard. I've got a hitting area. And so that's just a little outdoor net that's maybe five, six feet away from my mat. And uh, it actually performed pretty well. Just kind of making some light warm up -y type swings and I was pretty happy with it overall. So let's throw some balls down at this 150 yard stake, hit them at the green, and we will see how we do. All right, I'm 150 yards out. I have a seven iron set to seven iron. Uh, we're I'm putting it maybe about two or three feet behind me. That one said 140. My ball is on the front of the green. Honestly, that's probably about right. That one was a little bit of a pull hook. It said 142. Again, that's not bad. That one I hit really quite well. Should be more like 150. And that one landed more in the middle of the green. That gave me 150 on the nose. Pretty good, pretty impressed. All right guys, you can see these are those three shots. First golf ball you can see on the bottom right here, you can see the divot is just about one or two paces on the green. Remember it was 150 yards to the middle of the green. And the number it gave me on the launch monitor was 140. You can see the second ball there in the back left. Now that ball did not actually land on the green it landed on the fringe, and it was kind of a lower hooking shot. That one was 142, so even though it has rolled out to probably 150 or 155, it's pretty good. Um, then the second ball, or the third ball in the middle, that number was 150, which is, it, the ball is basically right in the middle of the green, and so I would say the launch monitor has shown to be pretty accurate, and overall, I've been pretty impressed with the uh, yard, or the carry readings seem to be uh, matching pretty well. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks, bye.